ट्रेड पॉलिसी रिफॉर्म्स इन इंडिया सिंस 1991 हर्षवर्धन सिंह वी विल डू वन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस रीडिंग जस्ट अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस रीडिंग एज अ पार्ट ऑफ ट्रेड पॉलिसी रिफॉर्म हाउ हर्षवर्धन सिंह हैज एक्सप्लेन रिडक्शन इन टैरिफ्स ओवर टाइम एंड इंडिया बींग मोर ओपन देन इज जनरली परसीव सो देर आर टू थिंग्स विच आर बींग आस्ट वन हाउ ही हैज एक्सप्लेन द रिडक्शन इन टैरिफ्स ओवर टाइम एंड सेकेंडली हाउ इंडिया इज बींग मोर ओपन देन वॉट इज जनरली परसीव so if you look at india's trade policy reforms they have actually paved the way for the lower tariffs for the lower tariff peaks it has paved the way for simplification of the tariff structure it has paved the way for reduction in quotas in the reduction in import restrictions we are concerned with high tariffs so what are the problems of high tariffs so even if the tariffs are high what is the problem with those high tariffs one one problem is that the price of imported goods is going to increase because of the high tariffs right so i mean i am the importer and uh, i am importing goods you one of course i have to pay the price for those imports plus i have also have to pay the tariff on those because i am importing it from the other country right and what will i do i being an importer i'll just pass this amount to my customers so the customers will also have to pay the higher price for this secondly tariff is a tax which is placed by the government on the importers that you know and uh, the prices are increasing customers are not getting benefited and don't you think that it can also lead to retaliation by the other countries also uh, because the other countries uh, on whom you are putting the tariff they will say okay you are putting tariffs on us we will also put tariff on your products so then it is not a good situation for you so one of course it is going to increase the price of the imports your your consumers have to pay the higher price secondly it can also lead to the retaliation by the other industry so this is the problem with high tariffs and we were in a very very high tariff situation till 1991 so only after that it has been eased out a little Now the question is question is arising. Okay, fine. You are putting tariff, but why are you putting tariff? One, they are putting uh, tariffs because uh, they want to protect the domestic industry from cheap imports. So I have my own industry. I want to take care of my own industry. So what I will think? I will think that uh, okay, I will make the other competitive products expensive. Although if my consumers are going to buy imports, they will have to pay lesser price. and if they are buying from the domestic domestic producer they are paying higher price but i being i i want to protect my domestic industry first so i will make the imports expensive although those were cheap imports earlier but i am going to make them expensive so this is this is the reason why tariffs are being imposed now what happened was that uh, in 1991 hmm. india's peak tariff rates were reduced to 150% they were 355% before reforms but the, the maximum tariff rates they have reduced from 355% to 150% and then by the year of 2007 8 they have been brought down to 10% in 1991 india's peak tariff rates Were decreased to one hundred and fifty percent. They were three hundred and fifty-five percent before nineteen ninety-one. This is a good sign. This is a sign towards opening up. And. these rates were brought down to 
ten percent over time. By two thousand seven eight, right? By two thousand seven eight. So one thing is this, right? So <clears throat> when I when uh, Harshodan Singh uh, made made uh, uh, one caution here, he said this that when we are talking about peak rates, don't think it is the uh, these are the maximum tariffs, right? So for for uh, maybe 70% of the products for 70% of the tariff lines. Uh, so for example, there are 100 products out of those on 70 products. Uh, for example, there are 100 products on which we are putting tariffs. And out of those, we have the 70 products on which we are putting tariff among those these are the these are the highest lines. Huh? So, uh, for a large proportion, they are the maximum rates. बात समझिए। वो ये कहने की चेष्टा कर रहे हैं कि आप अगर ये ना सोचिएगा कि जो peak tariff rate है वो maximum tariff rate है। हम बहुत सी, बहुत बड़े proportion of products में से वो highest peak rate है। लेकिन अभी भी इस peak rate से भी कुछ ज़्यादा हो सकता था। And second thing was that these rates they do not apply to the agricultural products. Right, these are for the non-agricultural products. So, वो ये कहने की चेष्टा कर रहे हैं कि आपके जो अगर आप tariff lines देखें, ठीक है, जिन-जिन तरह के products के ऊपर tariff लग रहा है, तो एक तो है agricultural products, और दूसरे हैं non-agricultural products. तो जो नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट्स हैं वो ऑलमोस्ट 86% ऑफ द टैरिफ लाइंस हैं ठीक है और इन 86% ऑफ टैरिफ लाइंस में से के जो नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट्स हैं इन पे जो टैरिफ रेट लग रहे हैं वो 0 से 10% ही लग रहे हैं या तो नहीं लग रहे या फिर लग रहे हैं तो सिर्फ 10% लग रहे हैं ये चीज दूसरा एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोडक्ट्स के अंदर अभी भी जो 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 मैक्सिमम टैरिफ रेट है द हाईएस्ट एग्रीकल्चरल टैरिफ इज 150 परसेंट एग्रीकल्चरल टैरिफ इज 150 परसेंट एंड दिस इज मेनली ऑन अल्कोहल So what is it that you can conclude uh, from the discussion till now? One, the peak rates have declined. Just imagine. Just imagine. I mean, you were sitting at 355%. In 1991, reforms, it suddenly went to 150%. And then over the time, it went even till 10%. As far as agricultural products are concerned, there are some products on which, yes, the tariffs are still high. But there are very very small proportion and on the non-agricultural products which are around 86 percent of the tariff lines only 0 to 10 percent tariff is being imposed so just imagine where were we and where we are right now we have reduced the tariff uh, rates a lot our peak rates have reduced so this is one explanation the another point was about india being more open than what is generally perceived if you look at the tariff reduction in India and you compare two years, 1990-91 and 2015-16, right? 2015-16. So, The tariff, the tariff, the simple average of tariff is in 2015-16 is just 1 by 10th of 1990-91. Simple average of tariff. So you take up all tariffs and you take the average of them. Simple average of tariff.
in 2015-16 is just 1 by 10th of 1990-91. So from this point also we understand that we have come a long way. हमने बहुत अपने टैरिफ्स को रिड्यूस करा है और टैरिफ्स को रिड्यूस करने का अर्थ यही है कि आप ओपन अप हो रहे हैं राइट देखिए कुछ तरह के टैरिफ्स होते हैं जैसे कि एक होता है मोस्ट फेवर्ड नेशन टैरिफ सो इट मींस दैट सफर सिटी इंडिया हैज मेनी ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर्स एंड इफ इंडिया इज गोइंग टू ट्रीट ऑल ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर्स इक्वली सो इट मींस दैट it is going to give them the same low tariffs everyone that is what the meaning of most favored nation tariff is india ke bahut sare trading partners hain so un sare ke sare trading partners ko agar wo same <coughs> paimane pe rakhte hain aur unko same low tariffs diye jayenge isse kya hoga hamari country open up hoti hai hamari country mein bahar ke products aayenge aur what is going to happen is that it is also going to help it is going to be helpful for our economic growth lekin iske downside bhi hai इसका डाउनसाइड ये है कि क्योंकि यू आर ओपनिंग अप मोर यू आर अलाउंग इम्पोर्ट्स टू कम इनटू योर कंट्री देन इट कैन हर्ट डोमेस्टिक प्रोड्यूसर्स अ लिटिल बिट ठीक है एंड उन डोमेस्टिक प्रोड्यूसर्स को आप ज़्यादा स्पेशल इंसेंटिव्स नहीं देते हैं बिकॉज यू आर अलाउंग इम्पोर्ट्स टू कम इन योर कंट्री ये सब मैं इसलिए बता रहा हूँ बिकॉज एक पॉइंट आएगा अभी कि आप कंपेयर करेंगे एवरेज लेवल ऑफ टैरिफ्स इन मोस्ट फेवर्ड नेशंस को और इंडिया के टैरिफ्स को तो हम एक पॉइंट के बारे में बात करना चाहते हैं उसके लिए लिख रहे हैं मैं बस एक लाइन लिख देता हूं बेटा यहां पे सो इफ यू लुक एट द एवरेज अप्लाइड एमएफएन टैरिफ्स यू विल फाइंड दिस दैट फॉर थाईलैंड इट वाज 11.6 कंबोडिया 11.2 लेओस 10% वियतनाम 9.5% व्हाई आई एम व्हाई व्हाई आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर इंडिया दिस एवरेज अप्लाइड एमएफएन टैरिफ्स वाज 13% in 2014-15 and these are these are the upper range of tariffs those countries which have upper range of tariffs in asian economies Association of Southeast Asian Nations Economy. So these eleven point six, eleven point two, ten, nine point five, right? I mean, for these countries, if you compare it with these countries, which are in the upper range of the Asian economies, ah, uh, which are having the high tariffs, India is still higher than that. On the one side, you are saying we have reduced a lot. We have reduced our average tariff a lot. on the another side you are saying if you compare you will find this that you are still above the upper range of the asian economies and these are the lower range middle to lower range you are definitely above them middle to lower range so this comparison is there because on the one hand you are saying that you have reduced a lot yes you have right yeah yes you have then uh, but on the other hand if you look at it in the comparative perspective you'll find this that there is still a lot more which has to be uh, uh, taken care of so please write one line if we consider if we consider only mfn tariffs then significant reduction is required if you compare the mfn tariffs in the asian countries your asian countries you will find this that there is a significant reduction which is required but if you look at your own economy you will find this that if you compare the uh, your average applied mfn tariffs in 1991 and in 2014 15 so you were sitting at around 125% now you are sitting at 13% you have come a long way right 
you've come a long way yes you have achieved reduction but in comparative perspective you could you could even do more uh, so in a broader context yes um uh, what india is thought of as the nation with the high tariff barriers but that's not completely true right that that perception that india is a nation with the high tariff barrier that perception has to change and uh, india is in fact more open than what is perceived in general so that is the point right so these are the things which i want to do in this video thank you beta i hope you like it